Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in the sunny Queensland, Australia. Except today it's not sunny. We have had rain, rain, rain. But it has been um, still warm, so uh, because we're in our summer here, so when we get rain, it kind of makes it pretty hu humid, humid. That's a weird word, isn't it? Humid, humid. So yeah, that's where we're at here. We're pretty uh, hot and sticky, but wet outside. So not the most pleasantest part of um, the weather here, but we get so much absolutely beautiful weather. So who can complain? You can't complain. If you're safe and happy, you cannot complain. So here we go. This is a 50 by uh, 40 centimetre, I believe, canvas. And I wanted to do something just bright and uplifting today. I will go through the colours as I go along. But as always, my description of my pouring medium is in the drop down box underneath this video. So, wowzers, wowzers. I am going to start off with pouring some white over my canvas. Uh, pretty easy, simple, simple pimple start. I will use my little spatula. I'm very tempted to use my fingers because I don't mind doing that whatsoever. So it's whatever you prefer. If you don't like getting your fingers in the paint with the glove finger, obviously, then do it this way walk this way so i hope you're all um coping with this silly season that we all come into this time of year which seems to stress people out with christmas presents and food and too much too much food eating too much food drinking too much um yeah can cause a lot of stress in families so just hope that you're all handling it okay and um stop and breathe <sighs> nice deep breath stop and breathe and you can give gifts any time of year i guess it doesn't have to be today but um uh, today it's not christmas day yet but <laughs> you can give gifts of any time i suppose that was what my husband when i first met him um his fa family when i met him wasn't absolutely didn't celebrate christmas they, they hated the stress that it put on families to spend all that money so they didn't they just gave each other gifts throughout the year when they could afford it so when i met him uh he said you know don't do christmas in this house so don't buy me anything for christmas i said i said oh don't buy you nothing. no don't buy me so i said oh okay and you don't buy me he said oh don't worry i won't but my feeling was, oh, of course he will. Uh, yeah, I felt that we'd done so much that year together and for each other that we deserved to buy each other Christmas present. And he, and he only was just saying that to try and um, put, you know, put me off the scent of buying him some. So I did. I bought him a gift, bought him a nice watch, I remember, and a few other things. Um, and then it came to Christmas Day and I was all, like, excited as you get on Christmas and um, waiting for me gift and I give him his gifts and he looked at me absolutely startled and said what are you doing I said well, it's Christmas Prince but I told you I'm not I don't buy Christmas don't get Christmas gifts I said I know but people always say that and I know you didn't mean it uh, that Christmas, the first Christmas, was the year that I learned that my John was an absolute man of his word. He didn't buy a sausage. He didn't buy nothing. He didn't buy nothing for me. So, um, mm, and he wanted me to have the gift back because he felt embarrassed because he hadn't bought me anything. And, and yeah, he said, you know, when I tell you something, uh, take me by my word. I mean it. So... I have learned that about my John. You, uh, he's a man of his word. So anyway, without further ado, that was Crimson. And this one was Viridian Green. So just keeping, trying to keep on track. Now this one is uh, Amsterdam. Uh, 
yellow medium. So I'm doing my bright and beautiful pour, which I love to do. They always come out lovely. They always sell well if you're trying to sell your paintings. Because, you know, even people that say they prefer uh, earthy or neutral colours, it, it always makes people smile to see something bright, I think. Now, this is the PBO Iridescent Red Blue. So, yeah, it is kind of really iridescent. It looks like one of those color changing paints so we can get all these in australia on the online shop underneath or you can get pbo in the us and um europe and i'm sure it's absolutely on amazon so 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 my summer garden summer summer this is the this is definitely the amsterdam turquoise green so i've got the uh, viridian in there which is lovely and then this is the amsterdam Virid. i am going to use my mini blower i'm not going to blow my socks off today i'm going to use my mini blower so try that one uh this is the gold some in here look uh, yeah I wanted to address the um, I've been having a lot of I mean I do get a lot of emails and private messages and it's just got to the point that there is so many people private messaging me and emailing me um, that I can't keep up with it so if you have emailed and private message don't take it personally if I haven't answered you back it's just that I cannot keep up with trying to answer uh, everybody on my YouTube channel and plus answer everybody that's hey Benny Benny uh, yeah and that's trying to uh, message me on or um, send me emails in regard to telling them how to mix paint. Um, that's actually why I do these videos is so I don't have to answer each person. Uh -uh, can, you be, can you be nose out of my paint? Silly duffer, silly duffer. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's no malice or anything like that. It's just that I'm absolutely bogged down with um, uh, requests for you know emailing me asking me yeah things about the paints and I just I just can't keep on top of it so I have to just try and provide you with those kind of things in my videos um, I can't do personal answers back because I literally have over a couple of hundred emails and probably more messages than that a week and I just wouldn't have any time whatsoever to create or spend with my family if I um, dedicated so much time to that. So nothing personal, guys. I just haven't got the time. So there you go. Those lovely colours. Look at that. Holy dooly. I like it. I just like those colours already on the white base. I was thinking of adding, um, I need to move that up for you. I was thinking of adding a bit of gold in my white just to send it more cream than white, but I forgot. So silly Jilly again, I'm trying to move this up because most of what's happening is down this end. So just finger touch the sides and you're underneath absolutely fine to finger paint so what I'm gonna do next is use my miniature blower I, I usually do use my um, uh, just the straw to blow but today I'm gonna use the mini blower see how we do with that I'm gonna just pour some white so I've got plenty of paint to blow it on Blow it up over, should I say? 
That should go. Let's try the mini blower. Let's hope it doesn't blow the paint right up and off. So just a little bit. Oh, lovely lace. Lovely lace. Love lace. <laughs> I think I better just finish the other bits that I want to soften off with the straw so as I don't end up uh, just, you know, sending it crazy. So just, this is just a stainless steel straw and I'm blowing the opposite end so I've got this. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. I do love these. I absolutely love these kind of pores. They're just, they're just me and they're bright and uplifting and they're what I love to do. So, so. Let me just try a thing. I want to swipe, I think. I just want to try a little swipe here with black. It's a bit too, um, probably a little bit too dark and that's why I want to do the test swipe on it first. So where's my pieces of plastic? Ugh. I never find them when I want them. Okay, I might try, oh this needs, this is my Swifty swipe but it's all bent so I'll give it a little try. I need to replace the plastic thing on the end. Yeah, it might take that a little bit too dark, hey? I don't know. It kind of would look nice in places. And then um, I might just cut up a few more quick pieces of plastic because I know I've got some, but I just can't put my hands on them. Pre-cut plastic. So I just cut up some pieces of plastic because these are great for swiping. It's the, the soft plastic file divider. So I might do a few of the dark swipes. I'm... And a few lighter, maybe. Let's give this a go, Joe. So just because it causes lovely lace because that black is, is uh, mixed with flow troll only so if you're not liking silicone in your pores then use flow troll because it unlike uh, say silicone that creates round cells this creates more lacing so so now I have got some white pre-mixed with Amsterdam I've got flow troll mixed with Amsterdam there Keep it in this bottle, give it a good shake. Uh, it's starting to rain again. You can probably hear it. And it's starting to get breezy. So that's with the white swipe. Go along here. It's always good to have a container that's got a uh, squeezy nozzle to do this kind of thing with so it kind of um all those colors are going to come back through when i go into the next stage of what i would like to do but now lots of people uh, have messaged me saying that they're having trouble with the balloon work and can i help them i mean i've done so many videos on ballooning it's really crazy that I've done so many so uh, if you have a look through at the balloon kissing you will find on there how I do this balloon kissing but I'm usually every single time that I do balloon work I kind of give you guidance on how to hold the balloon but what is best for a beginner 
is if you've got to this stage, walk away, go and have a cuppa, 20, 40 minutes till your paint absorbs into that canvas and self levels. Then when you come back and push your balloon into it, to kiss it, it will you will actually find it works so much easier. So that's just a little tip. I'm going to dip this little bit of black in here because I want some nice things happening. I'm going to use it to do me some oh my goodness, some loveliness. Holy dooly, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I'm going to do all these fine bits, fine bits of therapy, I'm calling them, because it's so therapeutic, actually, to just even do this, run your, just your bit of card through and bring your colours, run it through the colours, dip it in your black. So this is black mixed with Floetrol only, no glue in this one and no silicone. And there you go. It just adds oh, some loveliness, I believe. There you go. That is the most gorgeous lace. I will bring it down in one minute and show you my lovely lace. Not my lovely legs, my lovely lace. Oh yeah, baby. That's gorgeous. Even if I do say so myself, it is gorgeous. You've got to be happy with it yourself. If you might have somebody else um, say other to you, you know, it's your artwork, your, your, uh, your artwork, your room. Uh, <laughs> I'll forget my own sayings. Your rules, your way. No need for criticism. Scissors, scissors, scissors. And I just do some little tiny feathers off this. It just softens it all up. I'm finding that my little bit of card is getting floppy. So if you, go, if you get a floppy card, just start again. Oh, I love that. That's just so soft and feminine up there. And then I get to the drama down here. I'm going to leave that. Walk away from the canvas, Jilly. Enough is enough. Keep telling myself. But that's gorgeous. I'm going to just leave it. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go away and have a cup of coffee. Um, like I said, if you balloon it now, it just is a little bit harder to get a nice effect. But if you are proficient in it, like I've done so much ballooning, you know, I can usually get away with it. So put your balloon belly button in between the two fingers. Hold on it, have it a little bit soft and just quite a firm push and out. If it all falls in like that, it's basically showing you that's too soon um, and walk away and leave it or wipe the balloon off and press again. Sometimes it can take too much paint off. So that's why it's best to walk away. That's taking a bit too much paint off for my liking, but I will uh, fix that up. That's not a problem. So, but yeah, if you're having trouble with the ballooning, just walk away from the canvas for a little while until it dries off a little bit. It'll absolutely work for you then, provided you ca your consistency is the same as what I usually discuss in my um, beginners videos. I'm not sure if I want to do anything down here. That's quite nice. Um, I know you're all saying, I know she will. I know she will. She always does. She always uses the balloon. Here we go. So this is a heat embossing gun. It's instead of using butane. So much safer. It's gorgeous. I love it. Um, not sure if I want to. Do I want to do some? So as it looks like rolls. 
So it looks like we've got a little flower garden at the bottom. That might be a nice idea. Oh, that's pretty stunning. Those colors absolutely are the bomb. They're beautiful. So it kind of looks like some feathery kind of effect at the bottom, if you like feathers. So I believe that's enough. Yep, that's enough, I'm finishing. I am finishing, honestly, I'm very happy with that. I'll bring the camera down and show you. So it's all good. So here we are, I uh, brought you down to have a look at the detail. Just is really gorgeous. Um, I'm just really happy with that. You can just create such um, fantastic looks that you, you can't even get if you were a fine artist, you know. So, well, I suppose you can, yes, you can. But this is, you know, it is really the easy way with a balloon, isn't it? Look at that. I love it. I'm really, really, really happy with it. Look at the lace that you get from the dipping the card in the um, paint with mixed with Floetrol only. So there's no silicone in it. I love using silicone just the same. It just gives you different uh, kind of cell and laciness. But I will say 